In this video, I would like to show you how to do REPD test, Relative Afferent Pupillary Defect Examination. Now, in this patient, I found um, positive REPD in the right eye. REPD is one of the optic nerve function tests. And when you find one function defective, you should also perform other tests like visual equity, color vision, contrast, sensitivity, light brightness test, and optic disc fundus examination. Now in this patient, vision was decreased. There was red, green color desaturation, contrast, and brightness was also decreased. And there was right uh, optic disc paler atrophic. So all these deranged functions uh, pointed towards the optic nerve disease now exams we are often asked to perform pupillary examination so briefly i would like to tell you that you have to check the direct light reflex by putting light into one eye and checking its reaction under dim lights then again putting light in the same eye but this time um, observing the pupil reaction of the other eye that is called indirect or consensual right light reflex so then swinging flashlight test which is also called RAPD testing which I am showing in detail in this video when you put light in the normal left eye look how briskly the pupil constricts in both eyes in the left as well as right but when you quickly move the light to the defective right pupil instead of constricting the pupil dilates which shows that the right optic nerve or the retina is defective then comes the fourth component of the pupillary exam which is near reflex when eyes converge pupil also constricts and also uh, check anisocoria in dark and bright light and iris color in pupillary examination so that was uh, briefly about pupillary examination now what are the causes of positive relative afferent pupillary defect well, it could be due to optic neuritis uh, ischemic uh, optic neuropathy autretic as well as non-autretic compressive optic neuropathy due to tumor aneurysms advanced glaucomatous damage vascular occlusions like central retinal vein occlusion central retinal artery occlusion dense vitreous hemorrhage retinal detachment and traumatic optic neuropathy as well now in this case uh, patient the top differentials were non arthritic ischemic optic neuropathy and chronic optic neuritis now another question asked is about the grading of RAPT so I follow the four grades the grade 1 plus is weak initial constriction followed by the greater redilatation in the defective eye grade 2 plus is initial pupillary stall followed by greater redilation. Grade 3 plus is immediate pupillary dilatation. And grade 4 plus is no reaction or very less reaction to the light. Amaurotic pupil. So that was all about the RAPD. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this video. Thank you very much.